Hey everybody, Matt Lazia here with Maple Grove Productions. Thanks for joining us for another vlog. Today is not the greatest day. It is crappy out there. It's raining, it's wet, it's cold, there's freezing rain. All things are working against us. Of course we can't boil in this condition. I tried to boil through some rain the other day. Not a good idea. It was not a pleasant experience. All the rain was falling down into the pans. Tried to power through, didn't really work. And if you close the flaps up here, it ends up being uh, pretty steamy in here. It's like a sauna. So. so a lot of people ask us, what do we do on days like this? How do you stay busy? What do you do while the sap is boiling? Well, we're, we do stuff like this. We clean up all of our equipment, all of our tools. Uh, as you can imagine, these things all get very sticky and dirty after a while. So it's a good time to clean up your tools, clean up your environment. That's pretty much what I'm doing here. My pans I cleaned up yesterday, so they're good. But you know, stack up your wood. It's an example. I'm um, gonna do some vacuuming in here because it's getting kind of kind of dirty on the ground. Um, of course, you can always, you should probably be doing this after every boil, but you can always clean up your ashes. They're getting pretty, <laughs> they're getting pretty thick in there and it creates a lot of embers and coals at the bottom when I'm making fires which is not necessarily a bad thing but of course I want roaring fires with lots of flames so those are the kind of things I'm up to and I'm also gonna head out into the woods today a little water never hurt anybody I'm not gonna melt so I'm gonna take my drill out there there's a couple trees that are still leaking and kinda of peeing on themselves so I'm gonna fix that up and there's a, uh, a bucket out there in the woods that has a, uh, a a tube with a white pail that's just not it's just not working out so I'm gonna swap that out we have one more bucket up there that I can use to swap that out so I'm gonna bring an actual tap remove the tubes I'm actually not a fan of the tubes so I'm gonna remove that and put the uh, put the tap in there the actual tap in a bucket so that should fix that and I'm also working on a design to kind of gravity feed slow feed some sap into the preheating pan which i'll show you guys that probably on the next vlog or next video that i make and maybe we'll even do a whole episode on that but it's essentially just a white pail like this with a hole at the bottom using gravity gravity and pressure to push down the sap slow feed it down a tube into my preheating pan and that way it'll never kill the boil it'll keep it going everything's good the other thing we do while we're keeping busy inside the cabin while it's boiling is you just kind of do a circle. You do a, a loop here on, on doing the foam. When you're done doing the foam, you can stir. When you're done stirring, you can go get some wood. <laughs> you can clean the pans. You can fix up the uh, snowshoes, which we're adding new bindings. Thanks again, Charlie, for the uh, design idea. Add some linseed oil to your to your snowshoes, to your rackets, as I call them. You can optimize things, right? Fix the, the flaps. Um, you can always, what I like to do also is I'll go around and see if there's any mortar that needs to be done and take mental note of that. Remove any nails that might catch people in the head as they're sitting down on the benches here. So as you can see, I mean, there's tons of cleaning to do. Um, I've got power out here, so I'd like to listen to music and Sometimes I'll bring my laptop out here if I've really got nothing to do, but that's that's rare. Or I can actually work out here with my laptop, which is nice. If you work from home, the benefits of uh, living on a homestead are endless. But that's those are the kind of things that, that we do. Of course, when we get to the end of our boil, we start tasting with this little apparatus, which I can't seem to point because it's reverse in the camera. <laughs> anyway, all kinds of stuff to do, so we're never bored. There's never any downtime to speak of it's always just more time for more things and more projects one other major project that i'm going to do today is sand down these guys if i have the time there's uh, a lot of little fuzzies and pieces of wood and bark that sometimes flake off or string off like this here so I'll just come by with a piece of sandpaper and sand this all off and now that we're not boiling because we can't today because of the freezing rain. Uh, it's a perfect time to do this. And I'll come by with my shop back and vacuum that all up. So again, no shortage of things to do. Okay, so I was able to clean this thing out for the most part. Probably gonna come back here with the vacuum once it's all cooled down because I did find some embers that were still going. So even from a fire from a day ago, almost two days now. So 
goes to show. And apparently it's been dangerous to vacuum hot embers for obvious reasons. But uh, yeah, I managed to clean this thing out. Pulled out all the stuff that was inside. I'm gonna rebuild this thing because it needs new stones and certain parts and uh, new pipes and things in order to make cleaning up easier. This was filled probably up to here with ash. <laughs> So I've done several buckets worth, and just to give you an idea, yeah, that's not even all of it. So I'm gonna finish doing this. I fixed the uh, fire bricks over here. They were loose and there were some spaces between them. It wasn't as tight as I would have liked. And here, I'm gonna have to rebuild this as well to get it more the way that I want it, but Things were cooking pretty good the last time we were making syrup, so I'm not going to make ma major changes to the overall slope. It was working well. I we'll definitely raise this up and make, I don't know, maybe with some barbecue grills or something, and make cleaning up easier so I can just take the grills off, take out the ash. There's this convenient hole here at the bottom for all the ashes. However, it drops down to a spot where I can't really get to it. There's a car jack here that's supporting the whole thing, and it makes cleaning up a nightmare. So I'm not going to use this hole too much, but it would be a lot more convenient to do that. Have it drop into some kind of some kind of bucket. See where the hole is there? It's kind of an, an awkward spot. So I'd have to find some other way of supporting the front of the stove and uh, take that jack out, make cleaning up easier. But for now. Um, it's pretty much all about just getting that fire up as high as we can and having those flames kiss the top or kiss the bottom of the pan rather. We want that flame on there so we want to get the front fire up. This one's not producing, it's not heating up as nicely as I would have wanted. That's always the case so I'm going to try and build this up as high as I can on this side while still having a gradual incline using uh, most of what's here. I'm going to try and reuse this, but all this is going to have to be changed eventually. So, it's a big project, but it's the perfect day for it. Hopefully you can hear me over top of the uh, rain falling on the tin roof here, but it is a very relaxing thing. So, <laughs> hopefully it makes a little bit of background cabin, cabin ambiance, if you will. But since there's not a lot of stuff going on, I mean, at a homestead like this, at a farm, there's always stuff to do. There's always projects to work on, but I have a little bit of downtime now. So I wanted to take that time to acknowledge some of the supporters of Maple Grove Productions and our, our YouTube and our Facebook. Uh, it's important to me to, to take the time once in a while to give a shout out to those people that go out of their way to give us likes and comments and subs and sharing videos with their family. We have a lot of viewers out there that are very dedicated and watching every single episode as soon as we release it. So I just wanted to give some quick shout outs to those people. So some of our new YouTube subscribers are Just My Life, uh, Louis Young, Louis Young or Louis Young. Very much appreciate your sub, my friend. Thank you so much. Diane Desolates McDonald. I apologize if I mispronounce your name, but Diane, thank you so much for your sub. We really appreciate it. Blarney. Could be Blair, but I think it's Blarney, as in Blarney. So thanks, Blar. We really appreciate your support. Brandon Nystrom, of course, has been a longtime viewer and a friend of mine. Thank you, Brandon. Uh, Wild Night Bloom, of course. And I can't forget Al Dow, one of our major supporters and our uh, partners and, and friends. Uh, the Alain Daou family, thank you very much for all your help and support over the years. We really appreciate you guys. Our top 10 Facebook supporters, I really want to give a big shout out to these guys because our Facebook um, uh, engagement is not exactly high. So we don't really rely a whole lot on Facebook. It's mostly just to share some of our updates with, uh, with everybody. So... But our top 10 Facebook supporters, in no particular order, again, Alain Daou and family, uh, Angelique Clairoux, of course, uh, Valerie Gubb and family, thank you so much, Stephanie and Brock Baker, big supporters of us, family members, we love you guys, Roxanne and Trevor Fiddler, longtime viewers, uh, cousins, and good friends, Nick Bourne, always goes out of his way to give us a like, so really appreciate that, Nick. Uh, Merritt and Adam, you guys know who you are. 
Uh, you've always been there for me in the background and have provided me with guidance and support and friendship for so many years. So I, I really wanted to make sure to give you guys a big shout out. You guys are always um, uh, interested in my projects, no matter how silly they are. So Merritt and Adam, thank you very much. Uh, Nate Reed. Nate Reed is a supporter of us uh, behind the scenes. So thank you, Nate. Uh, Adrian Kenville. Uh, Adrian actually and his family came over here recently and had a maple sugaring experience with us. We went out into the woods. His kids were real troopers and even though the snow is almost higher than they were, they get stuck in it. They just get right back up again and keep going, keep tapping the trees and, and, and lugging their buckets behind them. So big thanks to uh, Adrian and family. And of course, I wouldn't um, be me without giving thanks to the St. Andrews West Ontario page, which I helped to administrate. Uh, lots of support there, lots of exposure for us at the St. Andrews page. So check that out, St. Andrews West Ontario on Facebook. Go ahead and check in there all the time. we got people checking in, dozens and dozens of people checking in on that page every day. So keep it coming, folks. And real quick, some other supporters of Maple Grove. Uh, Dan and Lise Leger, huge, huge helpers and supporters of us. So I have to give them a, a major shout out. Uh, Sean from Edible Acres on YouTube. Sean actually recently did a thing where he was uh, scoping out um, new channels on YouTube. So because of his success, he wanted to pat, pay it forward and uh, you get some karma points in there. So thank you so much, Sean, for, um, for that exposure. We got a couple of subs out of that. So thanks so much, Sean. Uh, Leslie Valley and family and other, some, some more... Uh, helpers and very good friends and cousins of ours. So thanks so much Leslie and family for all your help and your support over the years Emily Leger and Justin Beeston huge supporters huge helpers a big extra big. Thank you to Justin for making me my pans So Justin is the guy. He's the man who Who created these pans in an afternoon? So thanks so much Justin. I wouldn't be boiling this year without you man. So uh, I can't express how, how much I appreciate your support. And a couple of more, um, before I wrap up here, a couple more really big ones, folks. Charles Valley, uh, my uncle Charles. Uh, Charlie, I can't express to you again how much uh, your help has meant to me over the years. You've been a, a mentor. You've guided me on so many projects that I've undertaken. You've always backed up and provide supplemental information for what my grandfather, what his father taught him, and he's been passing it along over the years. So, uh, always willing to help, always there for us when we need him. So, Charlie, thank you very much for all your support. And last, but certainly not least, my grandparents, of course, Lys et Patricien Vallée, uh, for sharing their wisdom, all their support, and of course, passing along their legacy to us. We would not be, we would not have Maple Grove Farm. We would not have Maple Grove Productions. We wouldn't have any of this. We wouldn't have our house. We wouldn't have our property if it weren't for my grandparents. So I have to give an extra big shout out to Patricia et Luce Valley. So that's it for today, my friends. Just wanted to share a quick couple of updates with you on what's going on here and what we do when things, when the weather's a little crappy. You gotta keep working, you gotta keep finding stuff to do and projects to get involved in. You can't stop because the weather sucks, so. <laughs> but I also wanted to give those shout outs, they were long overdue, so. Thank you again, my friends, for everything you've done for us. Keep supporting us, things are gonna get better and more exciting over the years as we go. It's nothing but up from here, so. Thanks again, we really appreciate your views, your support, your likes, your subs, your comments, your sharing of the videos. Come on back for more, because we got more stuff coming up here at Maple Grove Farm. Take care, my friends. Be well. Bye-bye.